The toolbox is a collection of utilities we included to help you create, adjust, and manage your Beatnik builds. Most are meant to work with layers built in manual mode prior to using Sync. I'll quickly go over what they do. Also, make sure to check out the manual tutorial for more information. Unsync is the default. It's meant to keep the markers but delete the time remapping expressions. Once you apply it, the layers turn gray, which means they no longer have expressions on or referencing them. You can then use the manual sync mode to rebuild. Clean markers will delete the markers on a selected layer. You can only select one layer at a time, and you have to run unsync on them before cleaning. The next batch is for managing the marker layers. Keep Every is designed to work with BPM so you can skip beats easily. If you select Keep Every Second Marker, you're basically eliminating every other marker. Keep Every Third Marker means you're deleting two markers and keeping the third, and so on. Simplify Markers is meant for beat detect and cleans up markers that are too close to each other. By adjusting the frame numbers, you can delete markers within a certain range of each other, keeping the first marker and deleting the next. Marker count will apply numbers to markers. If you've adjusted your markers using Keep Every, Simplify Markers, or added or deleted some manually, this will give you a new count of existing markers on a selected layer. Precomp for Edit is a utility we included that helps you combine multiple selected layers into one precomp. It will create a precomp with evenly distributed layers timed out to fit within the work area, and places markers on the layer splits. This is a powerful tool that can come in handy if you want to create an automatic edit using the manual sync feature. Make sure to check out the manual tutorial for more info on this. Move multiple markers will combine all unlocked markers in a comp onto one selected layer. This was originally designed for tracks with distinct sections like an intro, chorus, verse, and bridge. Beat Detect can work for each of them individually, but not in one build. What you want to do is pre-build a reference layer by splitting the track up first and in marker mode, apply beat detect to each part of the track, making adjustments for each section. Then, create and select a null, or any kind of layer really, and use a multiple marker mover combine them onto that null, which you'll then use as your reference in the manual sync mode. Last in the dropdown is shift markers, which will move all the markers on a selected layer however many frames you need. This might be useful for tweaking and ease it to make sure that it hits right on a beat. Different ease types might need tweaking to make them work visually. Lastly is the marker generator. The default is automatic, which will equal space the number of markers in the marker count box across the work area, similar to what Beatnik does in the auto mode. The rest in the dropdown activate the min-max settings. You can use this when you're working in manual mode to generate markers for the reference and or master layer when beat detect or BPM doesn't fit your needs. We've adapted this from our marker ramper script that we included in Edit Monkey. I'm just going to steal the tutorial I did to save some time. Hey, this is a quick tutorial for Marker Ramper, a script we bundle with Beatnik to create ramp marker layers to use as a marker sync. It's super to create ramp marker layers in the number of markers you want to generate and select the pattern you want them to be laid down in. They're divided into three types. There's linear, and then there's two different weighted eases. With each ease type, you have the option of ramping up, down, up then down, or down then up. Then you just need to enter the minimum and maximum times in frames that you want between markers. Create a layer that you want to put the markers on, select it, and then click do it. That's the toolbox. We might be adding some new tools in the future, and if you have any ideas, please let us know. From Dan Eberts, I'm Oren Zucker. Thanks for watching.